For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff with the Mad Cheese, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over some play ranks changes, and I'm going to try to give you guys an update on the uh, fatigue issue that has happened since the last gameplay update. But before I do, as always, if you guys want me to continue to do these update videos, make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Let's go and get right into it. As far as the fatigue issue, if you play Mutt, you might have noticed that they turned Fatigue off in the Mutt game mode, or at least that's what I read. I don't actually play Mutt very much to the point where I could actually find out whether that's true or false, but that's what I read somewhere. So if you play Mutt, you probably don't have as big of an issue. I know a lot of people were like coming out um, because of like the out of position players, and they were doing things like um, you know they were they're basically using like the tight ends uh, that are you know just 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 players that are out of position and severely oversized, so they could get the ninety uh, point strength penalty. Um, you know, issue that was really causing a lot of problems. So they went ahead on that game mode, and I think they just turned it off as far as fatigue is concerned. But the other game mode just still having that issue. So they're trying to work on that, but at the moment they don't have a time or a date that they're going to actually have that fixed. It's crazy that they could do a patch and completely mess up the game, and then they don't know how to fix it. It's just like undo the patch. I don't understand what the problem is. But, uh, but that's where the state is as far as the fatigue penalty is concerned. Now, after that, we just have some player ratings changes. I was hoping, or at least thinking that Lamar Jackson uh, would get that much closer to a 9 and overall player. And he did. He's the highest rated player to go up or down a point. He went up a point to a 98. Not a lot of teams still playing, so a lot of these uh, ratings changes are really going to be based off of the current playoff teams. But at a 98 overall, Lamar Jackson is only one point away from a 99. If they win the Super Bowl, I would imagine he'd get to that 99. Um, if they beat uh, the the uh, the Chiefs this weekend, is that enough to get him to a 99? Going up a point? I mean, it depends on what he does, obviously. It depends on his performance. But uh, he went up a lot this year. If I go ahead and look at what his rating was at the start of the year, he's another guy who's usually criminally underrated. Was as low as an 89. Started the year as a 91, dropped to an 89 a few weeks into the season, and now he's all the way up to a 98, so almost a 10-point swing uh, from where he was midseason. So interesting considering he's probably going to win MVP that at some point – uh, EA thought he was doing worse and dropped him two points in the first three weeks. So very, uh, very unique there. Going to continue forward. Probably going to see a lot of Niners and you know stuff like that on this list. I don't typically read this list off, by the way. If you if I do these, uh, if you've never seen these videos, I typically do them live. I typically give you my live reaction. Uh, the next guy to move up, excuse me, is Chris Jones at a 96. He started the year. I mean, he's a 96 now. He went up one point. His awareness went up. His awareness is now at 99. Started the year as a 96. So he hasn't really moved at all. He started. He went down. So he went up to a 97, then went down to a 95, and now he's right back to where he always was. Uh, which, you know, a lot of times is what EA likes to do. Uh, continuing forward, the big boost of the week, three-point ratings boost for Amon Ross St. Brown. He's now up to a 95. Definitely a very good player. Um, his speed's a 90, which I think is actually... I, that, that looks like that got changed at some point. I could have swore his speed was lower. But if you look at this guy, started the year off as an A7, now up eight points on the year. Big boost recently. Like I said, it was only a 92. So he uh, he went up three points in a, in a week. And, I mean, you know, definitely a great player. I think he made first-team All-Pro. He was one of the three receivers to make first-team All-Pro. So um, it makes sense that he's rated in that range. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, are the Lions ever going to get some X-Factors and stuff like that too, by the way? I mean, I think, I think he's the only one that has a superstar ability on that team right now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, after that, Panay Sewell slowly becoming maybe the best right tackle in football. Maybe the I mean, the Lions might have the best offensive line in football. He went up a point. He's now a 94. Uh, he also got a strength point, uh, which, is, which is bigger than like your typical – um, you know, anytime you get a physical attribute point, that's usually a big deal. Uh, Jair Alexander, cornerback for the Packers, he went up a point again. I think last week he went up a point or two after a pretty good wild card performance. We went up another point. So he's up to a 93, but he's still down two points on the year. Started the year as a 95. Um, like I said, he's a guy they like to mess with. And the lowest he got this year was a 91. Uh, but he's about to a 93, so he ended the season on a strong note as far as EA is concerned. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, definitely one of the best cornerbacks in the game. They definitely, you know, dock his range a little bit too quick. Uh, continuing with the Lions offensive line, Frank Ragnow up another point. He started the year off, I think, pretty, um, pretty pedestrian and like the, like the, the high eighties, but he's up four points on the year as he was an 88 to start the year. And they've tried to correct that right away. I don't know what the deal was because like the first couple of weeks, he, his first week, he went up a point week four, he went up a point week five, he went up a point. So it's like, he's been going up all year, um, 
you know, so definitely one of the best centers in the game. Very good. Like I said, best maybe the best offensive line of football right now. Time will tell. Stefan Diggs, he went down three points. I don't know what he did in that wild or in that uh, division round loss, um, but that's that's crazy to me. He's now a 92 overall rated receiver, still one of the best receivers in the game. But when you think about how he started the year as a 96, and I think he had a pretty you know pretty consistent year with who he is. I mean. Some guys, you just feel like they're not getting used enough. Like, Stephon Diggs feels like they're not throwing him the ball enough, and his rating goes down three points in a week. I mean, that would be like, did he? I know, I think he dropped a big pass at the end of that game, or, you know, something like that that relatively cost them a victory. But, um, you know, a lot of people are going on about it. I wasn't paying attention to the game that close, but still, to go down three points is a massive drop. I mean, that's especially for a star player like Stephon Diggs. So, I don't necessarily agree with that. Creed Humphrey gets a one point boost, he's up to a 91. Another guy, like top center in the league, he started the years in 91. He's a young guy, and for some reason he hasn't been able to really rise up in the ranks. Uh, but 91 probably has him as like the second highest rated center. I think Jason Kelsey is like a 92 now, and I think he's the highest. So, um, you know, he's going to overtake him at some point. Uh, continuing forward, like I said, there's not a lot of guys on this list that aren't playing right now or, you know, at least weren't playing last week, as the majority of these ratings are going to be the same uh, unless you have, you know, unless you're you're hurt like Aaron Rodgers, who for some reason, I think even Nick Chubb went down a point while injured. Uh, but for the most part, it's just a lot of uh, the same ratings because, um, you know, less and less teams are playing. As I'm not really seeing too many. I'm all the way to the mid-80s here. Here's a big one. Legereus Sneed, who a lot of people think might be the best cornerback in the game. Free agent. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully he gets his money. I'm sure he will. But he started years in 84. He's now doing 88. Um, he got a plus one acceleration and a plus one strength to go along with plus three awareness, which is huge. But his his rating only went up four points on the year. Another guy still playing, Ronnie Stanley, went up a point. He's now up to an 88. He's another guy who I feel like, you know, should be higher. He started the year off higher. Started the year off as a 90, and now he's up to an 88, which means, you know, he's gone down all year. Um, so, like I said, I don't necessarily agree with a lot of these ratings uh, changes. I just report on them. Dre Greenlaw, another guy. Definitely deserves to be higher rated than he is. Um, one of the best linebackers, one of the most physical linebackers, and you know likes to hit. He's up to an 87, but he started the year as an 86, went all the way down to an 84 for some reason, which I don't necessarily agree with either. And now he's back up to an 87. So throughout the entire year, he went up one point. Uh, Elton or Elton Jenkins, I'm not sure if it's Elgin or Elton Jenkins. He's up, he's down a point, excuse me, down to an 87. The Packers quietly have one of the best offensive lines in football too, but he started the year as an 87, so he gets, I guess he's just going to end that way, but still a really good player either way. Uh, continuing forward, Justin Herbert hasn't played, does not playing right now. For some reason, uh, he went up a point. He's been injured for a long time too. He, he finished the year on an injured reserve, I think, uh, but I guess just signing John Harbaugh as their coach is enough for him to get a one-point boost out of nowhere in a playoff or divisional round that I don't think he's even ever even played in. So he started the year uh, high. He started the year at 87, got all the way up to 90, and then now he's back up to an 87 based off of what? Because he isn't playing. I don't. I never really understand that. Justin Matabuke. I'm not sure how to say his name. I'm sure I just messed that up big time. But he's up another point. Here's a guy. I'm pretty sure he made All Pro this year. Started the year as a 78. He's now up to an 87. Uh, continuing forward, we got Mika Hyde. He's down another point. He's been dropping like a rock lately, I think. It's either him or Jordan Poyer. Seems to be dropping like every week. Uh, he's down down on A7. Started the year as an 89, and most of those ratings losses happened recently. So I don't know. Maybe he's playing really bad at the moment. Uh, Trey McDuffie up a point. Another cornerback for the Chiefs. Another really good young cornerback. Uh, they're just totally loaded on the defensive side, uh, he started the year out as an 80, which is actually pretty high considering he was a rookie last year. Tyler Lindenbaum, uh, another young player, young center for the uh, the Ravens. I think he was a former first-round picker, at least a high second. Started the year as an 80, now he's up to an 87. So a lot of really good players there. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, who I didn't even know was back from injury, by the way. I got a, I got a faint integrance there. He's up to an 86 off, I guess, a, he did have a tip-pick interception. Um, his agility went up a point to an 85. His awareness went up two, and his catch went up one. He's probably got some of the best hands in the league as far as catch rating right now is an 83. Uh, but that's up from an 84. He's, he's at 86, up from 84 at the start of the year. Cameron Jordan, another guy down a point, not even playing. Jamel Dean went up a point to an 86. And that's pretty much it. That's as far as I like to go. We're about to the mid-80s. Got all the big names in there. If you guys agree or disagree, let me know in the comment sections. And other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.